Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Maker Monday. I did want very quickly to show you, this is the envelope journal. I still have to play around with the, the tie on it a little bit, but I thought I would show you the envelope journal that I made before. This was the one, I've put the link down below of all of the journals, you know, and I put little pockets and little tags and all sorts of things all over the place. Um, it does have a definite Christmas theme. There are a couple of religious themes as well as secular ones. This one is the fun one. <clears throat> I added this after I made the other piece of it because I got this envelope in the newspaper and it has an envelope in it. So there's an envelope inside an envelope. I'm not going to do a full walkthrough of this. I, I will do that at some other point. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that this one is done. So of my nine projects, one is complete. Yeah, that doesn't come all the way around a third time, so it's fine. I just have to cut it off. There we go. So we're going to set that aside. That's done. What we are working on today is figuring out what to do with these pieces. So I have, I was thinking initially that this would be the white side out, but I'm thinking now it might be the red side out and the white might go in the middle. I haven't decided. I'm still thinking about that. This one had a thread monster on it and it really kind of messed up the side. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. And yet, on this side, it puckered. So, you know, it, it, I got problems with it no matter what I do. So anyway, we're going to set that one up here. We're going to set this one with the white trim next to it. And then I have the green one. And what we're going to do is figure out what's going to go inside of them. So I have here a couple of pieces of music. And I'm thinking these two will be more formal. I like to let people know if there are religious themes in things before they buy it because, and mostly I don't put religious themes in because, you know, not everybody is the same religion I am and it doesn't really matter. And quite honestly, I'm less religious than I am spiritual. So I have lots of different choices. This has got a huge thread monster down here. So when we put something on the top front of this, we are definitely going to have to deal with that thread monster. Got threads hanging out all over the place. And I know some people like the threads hanging. They like that boho look. I, I don't. I want mine to be nice and neat. So, uh, yeah, but uh, because this says Merry Christmas right on the front of it, I'm not going to worry about um, putting in a couple of religious pieces. Okay, I'm going to put Hark the Herald Angels Sing in that one. And I think I'm going to put Silent Night in this one. Now, because of the way it was in the hymnal, this is not... The ones on the opposite side are not Christmas ones, but that's okay. We can cover over them and do sorts of things. So there we go. So I'm going to do my specialty papers first because that gives me an idea of how many of the others that I need. I am not dealing, I have this entire, I don't know if you can see it, I have this whole thing of specialty papers. So I'm gonna pull those out first. And the first one I'm gonna pull out is music. I bought this from Five Below many, many years ago. And because my husband is a composer, but he's gone to all digital composing. He doesn't compose on paper anymore. And I found this when I was cleaning something out. And I said, are you still using that? He said, no. I said, well, then I'm taking it. So now I'm just going to put the papers here. One for each. Oh, you know what I did? Well, I and I, I did not do music for this, for um, the red one. Because I'm thinking that is going to be more secular. So these are spiritual, that one's secular. Okay, so music is done. I have some ledger paper here. I picked this up at a, um, a 
I'll think of it in a second. Give me a minute. It was a church sale. They were doing like a garage sale kind of thing. And there was this thing of ledger paper. And I said, I'll take that. I think I paid a quarter for it. Okay, so I have that. I also have tracing paper. Now, I have here... I just got some Happy Mail, and it came wrapped in this piece of wax paper, and I thought, that is such a cool idea. So I'm going to put the wax paper for... Let's do the wax paper for that one, because these are going to be more... Um, similar. These the, the, the two Merry Christmas ones are going to be very similar in design. Now, will I use all of these papers? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, this is sketch paper, but it's a really nice, fine quality. So I'm going to take three pages of that, and this is perforated so I can take the edges off if I want. Let me throw that little bit away. Okay, there. So those are all my specialty papers that I want out of this bin. Done, and we'll set that aside, because that's finished. Now, I also have, as far as specialty papers go, I have these beautiful, uh, I think we'll put the holly there. I, these are going to be a little bit older. That leaves me, there's I think two left here. Is that just making sure there's just one there? Yep. Because you know, oh, you know what? No, there's two here. There we go. Okay, we'll put one there. We'll put one here. Make sure there's only one here. Yeah, these are thin. Okay, so we'll set those aside. I have, uh, all right, paper pads. I can't wait to get these off my table. These need to go out. Now these all, hmm, this is a more, let me put those up there. These tend to be a little bit more, uh, old fashioned -y. So I like that. Hang on. Pulling it out here. I'm pulling so I can pull the page up. I only have one of those pages. So I may end up cutting it in half. It may be a short page. I don't know that I like the black. It's the only thing I don't like about this one is that it tends to be black. Okay, this one has some jingle bells on it. So as far as music goes, that can go for that one. That's set. Um, I like the plaids, but I have a whole thing of plaids over there. Okay. I'm kind of leaning towards this snowflakes for the red one. There's a sweater there too, but I don't know that I want the sweater. Okay, one of these days I need to make an advent calendar. Um, do I want, no, I don't think I want the oh, the ears, the reindeer antlers yet. Okay, we got lots of... I'm going to hold off on that. Okay, so we're going to set that one aside. We've taken a look at that one. What I want to take a look at for this one is this particular pad. There's not much left of it. But there's some poinsettia, which would be nice for in there. I got some holiday lights that would be nice for in there. Another poinsettia and some gold. I don't think I want gold. I think I'm going to do silver with that one. So that one is set. I'm going through that one. All right, let's pull out another one here. Here's another one that's very bright. That one was Peppermint Dreams. This one is Say Freeze. Okay. That would also work well. I'm not counting pages at this point. Uh, I don't know how many I want to put in there. I kind of like that green. 
but I kind of like the green. No, I'm going to stick it with that one. Oh, there we go. Whew, that's bright and obnoxious, isn't it? I don't know about that. Okay, I do like the snowmen and more peppermint. Yeah, we might just do most of this particular one out of this this pad. I don't know that I want the pink. That's pretty. I don't think I want the blue. Okay, where are the other? They're slightly different in color. Oh, let's go ahead and pull it out. And if we don't use it, we don't use it, you know? That's kind of how I feel about a lot of these. All right. So let me see. We may be done with this one. Let me see how many pages I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of. No, oh, I got caught up with something. I have eleven of these. <clears throat> and then one. Two, three, four, five. That gives me 15. That one might be done. Let's let's set that one aside. I think that one's 15 pages is good. If I find more pages, that's terrific. Okay, these are still in process. Um, I'm going to save this one to find any extra pages. This is just plaids. Um, although I kind of like those plaids. I don't want to do too many different kinds of plaid. We'll put that one there and this one here. And that's got a little bit of... I keep going back to the front page to make sure I'm not clashing too much with the front page. Although these will be inside and so you won't see them too much. Hang on. There we go. And the flip side is red, so it, it's okay. I'm not doing blue and white. I'm doing a blue. I, I want to do a blue and white later. Okay, do I want the striped? Oh, I like that. Good. I have two of these. Because I have been using these are pads from last year. These are not, and they were on sale, so they're probably actually from the year before that. Um, because they've been around a while. I don't know if I kind of like that or not. Oh, I like that one. I only have one of those. Well, that's all right, because I only have one of these two. So let me set these. We'll figure out how to use those. Okay. That pad can go away. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not using anything out of this pad because that's all dark colors and I don't want the dark colors at the moment. No dark colors. Okay. And these, this one is blues, so I don't want that one. Don't, uh, these, I don't know, I'm think, thinking about those. I think these might also be... These are more of a, oh, I do like the, you know, I kind of like that poinsettia. I'm thinking I might do poinsettias for the for that one. This one's half out, so let's go ahead and pull this one out. I think I might do poinsettias under the, under the mistletoe in the other one. And I like this one. I keep finding them for the other ones and not for these. I need to find something a little bit more traditional in these. Okay. What do I got? Do I have two of those? I do. So we'll pull those out. All right. This is good because if I, I I told myself I cannot buy any of this year's paper pads because I have too many of these from before. And so I have to use them up first. Okay. I do like the snowman, but I think that's 
this might be a different pad. Okay, no on that one. And then, uh, no on both of those pages. And then I have these. I don't know. These are, it's crepe paper. I'm just going to pull out one sheet and see how it is. Very thin, but I like the texture. So I've got one in green. Oh, you know what I could do? Where's my green one? Okay, we'll stick this one with this one. That's my green one. And this is my white one. I could do white, or I could do a piece of the red. It comes in all of those different colors. I don't know if you can see with the glare. There's silver and white and black and green and red. Let's pull those out. What the heck? Oh, my table feels so much lighter to not have these on it. And then I'm going to leave that over there, however, till I see what I've got here. I probably have way too many. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and then 13, 14 if I decide to use these, which means I can grab a plaid. I think I want a green plaid. I don't think I want the silver. I don't want the blue. Didn't I have a green plaid in one of those others? I'll look in a minute. Let me double check on these. So this is all with the green. So see the green with the green. I think that's going to look okay. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on this one. I'll we'll put the white up on top of that one. All right, let me grab back some of those pads and find some of the plaids. Okay, no plaid in that one. No plaid in that one. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing over here. I'm on the. I've dropped everything onto the floor. I don't think there's any plaids in this one. Nope. No plaids. Uh, there is a plaid in here. Uh, that's that red plaid. I do kind of like that. All right, I'm going to take that red plaid. And I was kind of looking for a green plaid. I'm going to take it out for the moment. But I may change my mind. I'm reserving the right to change my mind. Okay, because I really kind of had it in my head. I wanted a green plaid. Oh, there we go. That's the green plaid. Okay. So we'll put the green plaid in here. And we'll, I don't know where that red plaid came from. It's from one of them. We'll stick it over here. All right. I'm going to cut things down and uh, I will be back. This is fun. I love making new signatures. There's so many new possibilities, so many new ways of putting things together. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and I just wanted you to know that I took this particular piece out. I decided it was too pink, so I, even after I cut it and was looking at it, I said, nope, so I took those out. So let's take a look at what we have here. So these are my scraps from the white and red one. This is the one that will be primarily secular. And I have not put these together yet, although I have added to them a little bit. I'm making sure I'm on camera there. Okay, I have an envelope here. We had a bunch of envelopes that got sealed and we can't get them apart. I suppose I could steam them, but you know, it's easier to cut off the edges and just use them here. I have my doily, so that's three music paper and ledger paper for five. I found this 
And I said, oh, that's perfect with all the other poinsettias. That's six. The uh, wax paper is seven. Plain paper is eight. And then the cardstock, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'll talk about these two in a minute. 15. This is 16, and all I did was uh, fold it up so that that'll be my center. And then 17, and this was me folding it up wrongly. I, 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 did, my, I did my score on the wrong side. And I thought, that shouldn't be such a narrow pocket. It should be a wider pocket like that. Why is it so narrow? And then I re realized I did it on the wrong side. So I flipped it over, did it on the, 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 the correct orientation. And then I thought, well, you know, that'll make a cool pocket. So you'll have, this will be one part and it'll have a pocket. I'll make that into a pocket. And then there's an inside part. And then when you get to this part, let me find my, just my blank paper here for a minute. We'll put it in there. So you see how it's going to work. Um, so when when you flip to, it'll be like that. It'll be short. When you flip here, this will be a pocket. I'm going to make that into a pocket. And then it'll also be a flip out with a pocket inside. And it's all out of one sheet of paper, which is kind of cool. So there are 17 pages in this one. And that's including the doily, which is really not so much a page. I have still yet decided to decide which is going to be the top and which is the bottom. Those are all the scraps, and that's one whole project. These are the scraps, and there are a lot of them because I use the same paper, much of the same papers in both. So those are the scraps for these two. I found, because I found that, I thought I, that's going to fit in everything. So I'm going to keep that. So that's one. And then I have... Uh, I cut the doily in half because it was really sticking out way too much. So I cut the doily in half, which means now I have one for another project um, because I have half for this one and half for the other one. So there's two. And I'm the only reason I'm counting the doily as a page at this point is because I have to be able to sew it. And I need to know how many piece, how many layers I'm going through. When I actually sell the journal and I list the number of pages, I generally don't count the doilies. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Mostly I don't. So, uh, but I just want that. That's what that's there for. Why I'm counting it is two. I have this type of a bag. That's three. I have the envelope. That's four. And then I have five six, seven. I found this, which I thought was really pretty. Eight. This will be a flip out thingy. Nine. Uh, I found this paper. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And that's my fold up. 17. And then this one is, I found, I have this particular, this is just computer paper that was, I think I got it from the dollar store years and years ago. Um, and I've had it ever since, ostensibly to write letters on. I don't write letters. Let's face it. We, I should and I don't. So one, two, three, Four. I'm going to set that aside for a minute. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's the other half of the thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So this one is actually one shy. But the reason I saved this out, um, I need to cut it down. I, I forgot to cut the edge off, so I want to cut that down. But don't doesn't that look rich? I think that's going to be my cover for this, you know, the, the inside piece. I think that's going to be really nice. So I need one more piece for that one. So 17, 17, and 17. We're doing all right. So this project is ready to go. On Friday, 
We actually are not going to be working on these. On Friday, it's Fun Fold Friday, so we're doing something completely different. Uh, and then, I don't know, you may see me, we may be pulling these out, putting these together, and doing a lot of work on these over the next couple of weeks. Alternatively, I may say, you know what? We're done with these. We're going to set them aside and, and put all the pieces together because I have a retreat in the second weekend in November. So coming up, it's what, three weeks away, two and a half weeks, and I have to have projects ready to go. So I'm thinking these might be my projects. I have three all set and ready for decorating and dealing with. There we go. All right. Uh, so that was putting together a bunch of signatures. And uh, on this Maker Monday, we are making a bunch of these and getting them ready for Christmas. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Click the like button to let YouTube know that you like them. And uh, yeah. I hope you're having a wonderful fall. We're in the middle of an Indian summer, so I'm going to go out and enjoy my day. This is Cindy, signing off.